Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. And in this part, we'll see how to set up your elementary OS for playing games. The drivers. First, you need to know which graphics card you've got. To play games, you need a graphics card. It might not be a very powerful one, but you need one. If it's an Intel graphics card, you don't have to touch anything. The drivers are already included in elementary OS. If you have an AMD graphics card, you have two choices. The default, which is pre-installed, is the open source AMD driver, which is pre-installed on the system. You can also download the proprietary Catalyst or Radeon driver, which may provide more performance with some of those cards. For NVIDIA graphics cards, it is recommended to use the proprietary driver, which offers considerably more performance out of your graphics card, especially for newer GTX 10 series. It also allows you to switch between the Intel and NVIDIA graphics card from a small config utility. To install those drivers, simply open the App Center. If your package list has been correctly updated, you should see a driver item for your card in the updates list. Simply click on it and select Install. Steam. There are plenty of ways to game on Linux. The easiest is of course Steam. To get it, just look for Steam in the App Center and install it. You can connect to your regular Steam account and all games you already purchased will still be there. Except you won't be able to play them all. Only the Linux-compatible games will show up in the games list. Don't worry, your other games are still there to be played on other systems. Why? If these games are not enough for you, you can also install the Windows version of Steam to try and run the games that won't run natively. This is made possible through Wine, which basically re-implements a Windows system on top of Linux, without emulation, which means the performance is closer to the native performance you'd get on Windows than to the performance you'd get from an emulator or virtual machine. Wine allows you to install .exe files and run them. Not all of them will work, however, since Wine does not support every single Windows function yet. You'll have to try and muck around with settings to be able to run some programs, while some will run perfectly fine out of the box. To install Wine, look for it in the App Center or install the Wine PPA for Ubuntu. Just follow the link in the description below and uh, you'll find the instructions to do so. Once Wine is installed, download the steam.exe from the Steam website and simply open it like you would any file. It should install and run normally. You can then select to install games from your Windows compatible library and try and run them. If you encounter problems, there is a huge community that provides workarounds to help you make your games run on the Wine application database. The link is in the description down below as well. Play on Linux. If you don't want to mess with settings, you can also download Play on Linux. It is a simple interface to install games that are known to work with minimal effort. Not all programs will be listed in here though. To install Play on Linux, just go to the App Center and search for Play on Linux, then install it. Once you open it, Click the Install button on the program to look for the program you want to install, then simply follow the instructions to install it. If the program is not supported, you can click on the Install a non-listed program and simply launch the .exe files, but there are no warranties that this will work and it's not going to work any better than just running the .exe file from Wine. So you need to run Windows games, but you want some support, some assurance it will run nicely. This is why Crossover exists. This is a solution that resembles Play on Linux and Wine, except that you pay for it. And they provide commercial support, they listen to your feedback, and the programs that are listed on their website are guaranteed to work. Most of the money you pay for crossover is re-injected in Wine, since they are one of the biggest contributors to the project. So this also helps making those Windows games and apps run nicely on Linux. If you want to manage all games in one place, there is Lutris. It is a great library or game library manager that combines all your games in one interface to avoid looking for them all over the place. It can handle native Steam, Steam with Wine games, emulation games, and even the games you install through Wine yourself. If they are not automatically detected, you can add them manually pretty easily. Lutris also has an online website that allows you to start the installation of games directly from the web by clicking on the link. Lutris will open and your game will install. They offer install packages for Linux native games, but also install scripts for games from Steam or Steam running in Wine. You can filter them by category, by genre, by price, the library is huge and you will find something to play in there. I use Lutris daily to manage all of my games. 
So there you go guys, I hope this helps some of you understand how to get started for running some games on Linux. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and goodbye. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.